we should always be checking our portfolio in the stock market to make sure that we are meeting the goals that we have set for ourselves for financial freedom. Sometimes we have to review what we have set at the beginning of the year to see if it's still the right path for us. The question might be, why am I doing this? Well, my goal in life is to retire early. I don't want to wait till like I'm 65 or something like that when I can have the potential of possibly retiring even earlier than that and really enjoying my life. So I'm doing everything that I can. So the stock portfolio is just a small part of what I can do right now. So when you look at your stock portfolio and you're kind of like looking at it and checking the inventory and stuff like that, you can readjust, make sure that you're on the right path. Because I set these goals back in January. So I need to maybe update things. Or I have finished one goal and it's like, okay, so where do I want to move this little bit of money that I was putting into Excellus, which would be the best? So that's why I'm doing this. And I'm hoping to inspire you to also look at your stock portfolio. Are you on the right path? Or have you not even started? Maybe this might inspire you to go, you know what? I've been putting it off because I'm scared because I don't think I know it enough. I definitely don't know enough. I am constantly doing research and that's one of the major perks about doing a YouTube channel. It's forcing me to do research and get the best quality of information out there for you. And so hopefully you're busy like me, hopefully it helps. So hopefully this might inspire you to do it. My name is Shell and I'm not a financial advisor. I hope you find this information purposeful though anyhow. First of all, I am going to be using uh, trackyourdividends.com and stockunlock.com and I'm using their resources, but they are not sponsoring me. But I will have their information down below if you're interested in checking them out. They both have free versions to see if you like it. And it's just a great resource, both of them I use, but to kind of keep track of your portfolio, your dividends, just great resources overall. Now we're first going to be looking at my goals and my goals for this year for 2024 is three. I have ACLS. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I got one share, which I did meet that goal a little bit over. And then I want three shares in T-Mobile. And then my goal, and this is the big one, is 24 shares in the stock main. The reason for these goals is ACLS, um, Excellus, is that it's just a great company and I just see it as huge growth. But since I am only putting $50 a month, which has been reduced from $100 where I used to put in, I have to be very strategic. And so I do see its growth, but there's no dividends. And so that one is not as much of a focus for me right now. Then I have T-Mobile, which another strong company, and they just started uh, giving out dividends again. So that's why I wanna spend a little bit more money in there. And then Maine pays monthly dividends and it's another solid company. So those are the three that I chose. Once I have completed the T-Mobile of three shares, then I'll start looking at some others to kind of help balance out my portfolio. If you noticed in my other video, which I have linked up here, you can see that I'm still working on making sure my portfolio is balanced. Okay, so now we're in stock unlock. And what I wanna show you right here is just my industry breakdown. And so you can see that it's broken down. So you can see right here that I definitely need to work a little bit more on balancing it out. But I want you also to look at our dividends, or my dividends, sorry, here. And so right here is main. For the total right now is 52.62. For T-Mobile for the year, we're looking at a, almost $6. And then uh, remember ACLS does not have dividends, so Excellus. We have the ones I'm trying to decide, and I think it's just gonna be based off, you know, if I am in the negative uh, for that day, and if so, I'll probably be putting more money into these different ones. Uh, we have Kelanova, uh, Conagra, and Kroger. 
So I think I'll be splitting my little bit of extra money between the three of them, just depending on the time of day and the day that I decide to put money in and where they're at. If I am in the negative for that day, then that's for me, I just look at it as a discount. So I can get a little bit more for my little bit of money. And that might be something you might want to think about doing too, is if you're like me, where it's just like, you don't actually have a whole lot of money allotted for the month, then maybe just go ahead and focus on just a little bit wherever you can get a discount. And then just as the time goes by, it will start to balance out your portfolio. All right. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you is Robinhood. So every week I put in for main $10. And then I just have it displayed here. Just I'm not going to have it go over and over showing you $10. But we'll see at the beginning where I started and then at the end uh, in shares and then also dividends. Then I have T-Mobile. Same thing. I put in $2 every week and then the excellus was the month before where i actually made that one share at the start of the month i was at four thousand eight hundred fifty seven dollars seventy one cents for all time now let's look at shares my shares at 17.228986 and my average cost is 41.29 okay now we're going to go check t-mobile and now you can see for my T-Mobile, it's 2.219508 with an average cost of $128.78. And again, I'm not going to go through each week. That'd be too much, but just the beginning and the end. Okay. So now we're going to go to the end and just see the difference. So we'll just look at the final number off my Robinhood account, and that's current. Okay. So now looking at my main at how many shares I have right here uh, almost 18 17.927115 and that's with putting it in for $41.59 now we'll go ahead and check T-Mobile and my total shares now is 2.255971 that's with putting a total of uh, $8 so yeah we definitely that might need to see if I can bump that one up a little bit to see if I can get to the three shares by the end of the year. And my average cost is $129.35. That went up a little bit because T-Mobile, not complaining, but it has been uh, going up for months now. So I haven't gotten a discount yet. But the market is very volatile. It goes up and down all the time. So there will be an opportunity. and. Uh, my hope is to save some of the money. So when those opportunities do come up, I have money to put in. All right. And this was using my Robin Hood. Let's look over here because uh, one of the main things that I need to work on is my portfolio. But I do want to show you with track your dividends. So right here we have, um, I really like this feature. It's with uh, how much dividends you should be making every month. And one thing about Maine is, yes, it pays monthly, but they also do these special little ones too. So you can see I'm averaging $4, but then month of June, I should be getting $9 because they're having an extra one. It will break it down even more. So you can see here on, doo -doo -doo, sorry, Maine, we have here on May 15th, I'll be getting, uh, not May 15th, nah. On June 14th, I'll be getting $4.05, but that same month, June 27th, I'm going to be getting $5.06. So that's another thing that I like about Maine is that they give out little extras. Now, going to the diversification right here. And so here's another good reason to be, uh, for me, for T-Mobile, again, working on that portfolio is you can see here for T-Mobile is 7.34, where with technology in general, it's 12.52. Crypto, I have not been adding any money to crypto and it probably will be a while if I do. Uh, just, I kinda wanna just write it out and see what happens with what I have now. Because I know that this is definitely way in the future, but I would like to see if I can get up to, at some point for myself, a profit of $1,000. 
And if so, I, because I don't have that much, I'm going to go ahead and sell. But it's definitely a long ways from that happening. Then we have consumer defense, 10.57. Then uh, I have quite a bit in the uh, index funds, which I'm happy with the ETFs because they're, they're safe for me. And since I don't have much and I'm just trying to grow it and stuff like that and rather be safe, uh, I'll take the ETFs and get their slow process. Then we have cyclical financial services. 16.22%. So you can see that T-Mobile definitely is under the percentages that the other ones are. And so I just want to work on making sure they're more balanced. So I did like this also to really see it. Now we're looking at uh, for today, which today is Tuesday, May 28th. And for all time, it's $5,087. So you can see I'm up $526. So that's just my total account value. The final results of May, my total value was $4,857.71 to begin with. And at the end, $5,807.24. Now for Maine, the start of my shares was 17.228986 and with $41.29 for my average cost. And at the end of the month, 17.927115 with an average cost of $41.59. It went up a little bit because the stock price is also going up. Then T-Mobile at the beginning was 2.219508 with an average cost of $128.78. And at the end, T-Mobile was 2.255971 with an average cost of $129.35. Again, same reason the stock price is going up. And that was for the month of May. So I'm hoping that with this video, just showing you where I am at, that it inspires you to kind of do uh, just a check on where you are at and if you are making the progress that you want. Now, for me, I am only doing it for the year. It, too far in advance for me to really think of this small little stock uh, portfolio that I have for, you know, possible retirement, stuff like that. So for me personally, right now, I just like the small little yearly goals. And that might be something that helps you too, instead of, you know, like, hey, I don't have thousands upon thousands of dollars to put into the stock market, maybe create smaller goals. And that might make you feel a little bit more like, hey, I am making progress. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed this content, give it a subscribe. Thank you. Bye.